Rome, the city, society and infrastructure, an e-learning course, introductory unit. Ave, please salute Matti's alter ego, Philippus Maticus, Senator of Rome. During this course, you'll find the occasional short video lecture in which I introduce certain aspects of Roman life and general background material. Among the videos you can expect to see are The Seven Hills of Rome A Guide to the Forum Romanorum A Guide to the Colosseum The Roman Villa A Tour of a Roman Temple The Gods of Rome and How to Read a Statue and How to Read a Military Tombstone Because what you see here is a graphical reconstruction, there will be certain inaccuracies, which I will point out as we go along. For example, look at this toga. Is anything wrong with it? The first thing you may have noted is that I have both arms free. This is because it is a specially designed toga which allows me to point to various things as we talk. A normal toga is arranged on the body in a series of elegant drapes, all held in place by my left arm, which has to be kept crooked at all times, like this, or the whole thing falls apart. What you see me wearing now is closer to a synthesis, the clothing which I, as an aristocratic Roman, wear to dinner parties. Also, of course, there is the matter of the purple border. We know that a senator had a purple bordered border on his toga, a score of little sea snails in the eastern Mediterranean died to give me this border. The purple dye they produce is the only fixed dye in the ancient world, and so precious that purple has become the imperial colour. The other thing is that, as you might expect, no senator's togas have survived into the 20th century, so no one knows exactly what the purple stripe looked like. So, while most things in our dream of Rome are not going to be 100% accurate, we can use them as a basis to see what accuracy should look like. It also helps that we will frequently drop out of the animation and look at real objects. Here, for example, I'm standing by a reconstructed Roman temple. Any guesses which one? If you guessed the Pantheon, or Temple of All the Olympian Gods in Rome, you are quite right. Now, here's the real thing. Close enough? The reason for using these short videos rather than a direct lecture is when we turn to, say, an inscription, such as this one, and I read the words Co Libertai et Coniugi, we can simultaneously illustrate them in the graphic, like this. This, by the way, is the funeral inscription of an actor called Numerius Quinctius who was freed and married with the Primilla, see her, of the previous line. co et coniugi means freed together and married together. We'll be looking at more inscriptions later. That's all we have time for in this introduction. See you next time.